Hi, I'm Sarah from Lumen, and in this quick video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of what to expect in your Lumen One study plans. You'll access your study plans from your introductory statistics course. This means you'll need to log into your school's website and go to the course where you're using Lumen One. Depending on your school's learning management system and how your instructor has your course organized, your course will look different than this, but what you'll want to look for are the links that start with study plan, like this one here. All study plans will be labeled study plan, followed by the name of the module, like this one, which is data types and organization. The first time that you access a study plan, you'll see this background skills box, which explains the skills you'll need to do the work in this study plan module. If you click check your readiness, you can take a quick assessment that'll help you identify any skills which you might need a quick refresher on. You can click later and still have a chance to take the readiness check at any point, but we recommend taking it at the beginning of your study plan because it'll help you understand if you need a quick review and also because completion of the readiness check counts toward the points you'll earn for this study plan. Let me show you what the readiness check looks like. It's a quick assessment and you'll answer each question and click submit. You'll be able to see if you're getting your answers correct or incorrect. And when you come to the last question, you'll click finish. Your results page will list the skills that you need to review. And when you click back to your study plan, you'll see detailed information about which skills you're ready with and which skills need review. Click the skill to access a mini lesson to help you brush up. Now, let's look at the content in the Learn section of your study plan. Visit Why It Matters to learn why the concepts in this module matter in, matter in the real world. The Cheat Sheet is a study aid that provides key terms, formulas, and concepts from this module. And these are the topics within this module. Every study plan is organized the same way, and every topic has the same structure. This makes it easy for you to know what to expect and how to move through your materials. The Learn It section helps you learn the course content through readings, videos, and practice problems. You can always click Back to Study Plan to get back. Apply It's help you apply what you've learned. Your instructor might ask you to do these in class or as homework. And the Self Check is a quick check that helps you gauge your understanding of the topic. Completion of these self-checks count toward your points for the study plan, so make sure you do them. They make a great study tool, and you can take them as many times as you like. When you're done, you'll be able to see if there are any skills that you need to brush up on. When you go back to your study plan, you'll see that your self-check is done. The Dig Deeper section has materials to help you learn the big ideas in a different way. And these are helpful if your self-check results indicate that you still need to review this topic, like I do here. As you work through your study plan, it will update to help you understand what's done and where you need to focus your time. Here's an example of a study plan where the readiness check and all self-checks are done. You can see the done label for each one of them. You can also see that for some of the topics, I need review, and some of the topics, I've achieved proficiency. In order to get full points for your study plans, you must make sure that you see done next to each self-check and the readiness check. 
And once you've learned through the, worked through the learn content of your study plan, you'll find the practice problems and the, quizzes, the quiz for this module. Make sure you work through the study plan topics before you take your quiz so that you're prepared for it. You have two attempts for each quiz and only the highest score will be counted. And that's a quick overview of your Lumen One study plans. We'd love to hear how you work through study plans, so visit the Lumen community and let us know what's working and what we can improve. Have a great semester.